Hello everyone and welcome back to my art studio. Today is a very special day. It's the first day of Inktober and it also happens to be my wedding anniversary. So cheers to 13 years. <laughs> Happy anniversary Patrick. Anyways, um, I, I want to show you the process of how I drew the first Inktober drawing uh, and it is the first Inktober drawing, but I want to be completely honest with you and let you know that this is the second attempt <laughs> at this drawing. The first attempt at this drawing was a complete failure, and I might as well just show it to you. <laughs> uh, here it is. It is this. So it started out like this, and it turned into this, which I'm pretty happy with this one, not so happy with this one. Um, I had it in my head that the drawing, since it's for Inktober, that the drawing should be 100% only ink. Uh, so I attempted to use these liquid inks <laughs> and it just was not cooperating. It was very frustrating. And I ended up just calling it a day with this one and throwing it out. I just, I don't know what was going on. I don't, well, I do know. I, I know why this failed. It's because of my lack of experience and my lack of knowledge about the liquid inks. Uh, I would like to improve on that, but I was running out of time. So I just went a little bit back into more of my comfort zone, which was um, this toned paper. And um, I did the background with pastels. And <laughs> I know somebody out there is gonna be like, oh, you use pastels, it doesn't count for Inktober. For, for me, this counts because most of the drawing probably, you know, I don't know what percentage of the drawing is ink, but it's mostly all the details, everything else besides the background is done with ink. And so to me, this counts as Inktober. Um, and so, yeah, I want to share with you the process of how I drew this. So come along with me and watch me draw. Let's get into it. began this drawing I actually started using an office pen it was just like a regular like a Bic easy grip just a pen that you would just write with it wasn't an artist pen but um, for some reason it just wasn't working on this paper you know how sometimes you can use a pen on a certain like a notebook paper and it'll draw just fine but if you use it on a certain piece of paper it just won't draw a line for some reason that was happening I, I don't understand but um, so I, I, I traded pens I ditched it and I started using a micron number three I was really wishing I had my number five the micron number three is a little bit small for for what I was doing I wanted the number five but my number five was out of ink so the number three was just fine and right here um, I'm using for those dark lines I'm using a Faber-Castell soft chisel pen and I really wished I had the brush pen but especially whenever I was doing those um, palm trees I really wished I had the brush pen but again my brush pen was out of ink <laughs> so I was just making do with what I had and it turned out okay I think um, and then the white ink was just a regular uh, uniball Signo gel pen and so yeah and also let's talk about the prompt the prompt for day one of Inktober was ring <laughs> and you know 
now I realize that I kind of missed an opportunity to do some sort of like marriage ring art because it is my wedding anniversary today but we already celebrated our anniversary and honestly I just I drew this because it was the first thing that came to mind because whenever I was younger I used to call the skating rink I used to say skating ring so um, it's one of those things that like it it's very hard for me to unlearn because I still think that it should be called the skating ring you know you skate around in a circle skating ring I can't get that out of my head and <laughs> there's I have a few little things like that that I just can't seem to unlearn and learn the proper phrase uh, another thing that I always used to say we have this burger place called what a burger and I always used to say water burger so you know let's go to the skating ring and then later we can get some water burger what do you think about that oh all right guys thank you so much for watching and tune in next time Bye.